So yesterday did not quite play out the way that we had hoped. We witnessed what was actually the start of a very nice breakout in the overall crypto market turn into actually a fake out. And this came on some big dump news in the market that people need to be aware of. Now, what I have to say is despite this, ADA still looking really good. BTC is still looking really good. Both of them actually sitting within structure right now. And what I have to say is that the BTC, unfortunately, after breaching 70K yesterday, it did its best Chevy impression. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, if you guys remember the old commercials back in the day, it fell like a rock. <laughs> Anyways, it fell all the way down to the mid 66K range. You guys can see it's actually still sitting within its structure inside of its ascending channel, inside of its ascending triangle. So still looking very good. ADA actually still sitting again above this long-term trend line coming back down. You guys can see it's actually starting to curl around a little bit here, which this all looks really good. And in fact, over the last 12 hours, it has been flat. It's been showing showing support, BTC doing the same thing. That's exactly what you'd hope to see here. But unfortunately, what caused this drop to actually take place was a major move by the US government. They actually moved $2 billion worth the BTC out of their wallet. So again, this is coming from the Silk Road money. This unfortunately is coming following Donald Trump actually talking about nothing happening with this money. You guys need to realize right now he's not president. He doesn't have control of this. So this is kind of just a big slap in the face to what the future plans are for this country. Actually, the smartest thing would be as if uh, someone sued and got a judge involved and put a freeze on these assets, which they theoretically could do long enough to keep these assets from being dumped, period. But I don't know if obviously anybody's going to do that. So this came as uh, a little bit of a surprise to, to the market. And unfortunately, you know, I, I talked about this yesterday, $70,000 BTC, watch for the fight here. I figured we'd get a little bit of a pushback on this, which we did. And I said, uh, we're not quite into the short liquidations yet, but they are coming. And this even is further solidified because more short positions filled on top of where we're at currently. And know this, although we dealt with, you know, this this dumping, this dumping from the U.S. government, big entities were buying, guys. For example, someone bought $300 million worth of BTC on Binance yesterday, uh, institutional money, positive day of inflows, uh, unfortunately, grayscale, big dump day yesterday, biggest day of dumping we saw since the middle of July, $54 million in outflows, but it was still a net inflow day overall, which is probably why we're showing some overall stability in the market. What you need to know is this is just kind of those those games that we're dealing with, right? Ada coming back down, possibly retesting here, curling back around, kind of loading up for this next slingshot through these moving averages. All right. Would not surprise me at all. As always, again, this is not financial advice. This is not a guarantee. And BTC, again, showing a lot of strength up here, which means it could come back up and either test this 68K or it could even test the top of its trend. Shorts are getting overconfident again. People are making the same mistakes time and time again. Guys, the trend has not been broken here, which is a great sign. That's great for ADA. I had some people yesterday ask, oh, yeah, you know, why is why is ADA being so weak versus BTC? And there have been days where it's been weak versus BTC, but on the ADA BTC chart, it actually looks like we're coming in, setting a little bit higher of a low. You don't necessarily want to see that much of a retracement, but right now we just we haven't had enough push in the crypto market yet. But that can change very quickly. Like I said, you can get through some of these shorts. Things can start getting sporadic. ADA can get slingshotted up. We were in a very great spot to start yesterday. We were above 42 cents. Unfortunately, we were showing a little bit of weakness as BTC was rising, but then we actually showed a little bit of strength as BTC fell. So it's, guys, it, you have to let things play out, all right? I know we want it all at once. I know these days suck, but there are days where ADA goes on massive runs. We've seen it before. It's not going to be a stranger in the future, and we're going to be getting into much better times. I can't believe that some people were, were fooled by this move by the U.S. government yesterday. yesterday. It's, it's the same thing we saw with Germany. It's just on a little bit bigger of a scale, but guess what? The market has enough to absorb this these moves, all right? Now, here's the thing. U.S. government dumping, a little bit more unpredictable. German government basically it was consistent in their dumping. We knew it was coming. We knew it was happening. U.S. government has done a little bit here and there. This is probably the biggest one we've seen in a while. But remember, their bags are finite. When this stuff happens, guess who tends to buy? Whales, institutional money. Right now, price is being held up, guys. This is why I've said I don't think that like massive downside is, is really likely at this point because we're in the time where the market is ready to send. All right. Hopefully that makes a lot of sense for people. So we just got to be patient. We got to wait and see how today plays out. Hopefully a little bit better of a push into 
uh, tomorrow's FOMC meeting. Maybe some positivity coming from that. But have a great day. Show your love below. Let me know your thoughts. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.